In this video, I'm going to talk about how to retrieve data from web services using the script task. In the previous video, I have shown how to retrieve the data using the inbuilt SSIS web services task. But in this video, we are going to write the C-sharp code to get the data from web services. Okay. And this is the package that we created earlier for the earlier video. And now we are going to create a new package for this example. Let us create a new package and name the package as web services script. And in this package, we need to define data flow task. This is all the task that we needed for this, for this example. And in the data flow task, we are going to use the script component as the source and the output destination as a SQL server. We are going to achieve the same uh, results that we achieved in the previous video that we retrieve the data from web services and load it into a table. Same thing we are doing, going to do here using the script component. Retrieve the web services using the script and send the uh, send the parameters to the OADB destination to load it into the table. Okay, so for that, first we need to use a script component and define it as a source because we are going to use a script component as a source. And the destination will be a SQL Server table. So in this script component, we have two options. Either we can write the code in Visual Basic or in the C Sharp. We are going to use C Sharp, which is default. Before writing the script component, we need to define the output columns because in the script we we get the data and after that we will populate the data into the output columns. Then only this task will send the buffer output to the OIDB destination. Let us create the columns. And the columns that we need to create, we need to look into the visual file. In the previous video, we have used, this is a visual file. Okay. And these are the columns that we needed. So we need to define, okay, six columns. So let us create those columns. We define all the columns as parameters for this script task. Say OK and save it. Now we need to create the logic.
click the edit script which will open the project where we can write the code okay and this is the pre-execute and we don't have anything to to do uh, pre pre-execute this packet uh, this task and, and post execute we don't need to do anything here and we need to write the logic here to populate the output buffer columns that we just created okay so before doing this we need to add the web reference the web services web reference right click the references and add the web reference so here copy this URL and paste it here click go okay now add this reference okay save all you can see the reference here in the object browser yeah this is the reference okay copy this reference and use the reference here because we are going to use the methods and parameters from that reference so we need to import that we also be using the system dot xml okay now here in this section we are going to use this For that, if you go here, we need to use this weather forecast. Okay, copy that. And name it as W forecast. Okay go to the definition and this is the main class and we need, we needed to use get weather by zip code this is the this is the method we need to, we needed to use and before using this method we need to define this because it returns the data in this definition so go to the definition this is this is an array and define that okay now okay this is the method that we need to use okay so now okay it returns the array so we need to loop through the array for that create a for loop For every uh, loop, for every iteration, we needed to store the output into the output buffer. 
So those those columns that we defined as output columns, we needed to add for every weather information row that we get from the XML file. So in the XML file, uh, we get the weather information for next five days. So for every day, uh, we have the bunch of six, bunch of columns, six columns. So we need to store those six columns into the output buffer. So that we already defined, defining the uh, specifying the output parameters here. Here we define that. Now we are going to populate those columns in the script. First add a row. And after that, here we need to we needed to collect the every every iteration, the array, every 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 iteration of the array. For that we need to define that object. So now now we store that. Now populate the output variables. Similarly, populate all other columns. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now we need to close that bracket. Okay, now we are done with the script task. This will retrieve the data from web services and it will populate the output buffer columns. And now when we say build, it, it says build started, yeah, build progress and build this succeeded okay good now script component is fine now we are going to use the OLEDB destination to load the data into the table double click the OLEDB connection and we are going to use the same table that we created earlier for the previous video. In the previous video, we created the table and we populated the data. And here is the information. This is the table that we created. And in the previous,
in the previous video we created the weather information table and we populated seven rows now we are going to use the same table to populate the data from the script task create a new connection and specify the existing one and table yeah use the same table and preview it has got the seven rows already now in the mapping since I didn't define the the, the column names which are, which are same as the the table name it couldn't able to map okay okay there is a unicode and non-unicode issue we needed to create a data conversion task and we needed to put a, a data conversion task between the script component and OIDB connection that will convert the data from non-unicode to unicode let us see what we got in the table in the table we have unicode and whereas we are getting non-unicode data so we need to so we need, needed to convert non-unicode to unicode so drag the data conversion task connect that here specify the unicode okay now you connect it so instead of pointing to non-unicode columns we can specify the unicode columns okay so specific specify the copy of wda maps to the destination column okay now everything seems to be fine save it and run the package okay it retrieved the data using the web services converted the data and loaded the seven rows into the table here let's take a look into the table now this is the previous uh, SSS task that it created now if I say execute and it is going to show the 14 rows the seven these are the seven rows that it inserted okay